just uh, on my way here to go check out some HF stuff. I got the portable HF radio in my backpack. I have some wire as an antenna. The winter is definitely coming along. Some of the streams have already frozen over. I'm going to see if uh, conditions are actually suitable for receiving some of the HF uh, air broadcasts. I'm going to see if uh, conditions are actually suitable for receiving some of the HF uh, air broadcasts. Now those are all the um, frequencies that are used for communications between ATC and airplanes when they cross the, when they do the oceanic crossings. So I'm uh, headed out to a remote location uh, where I can get away from RF interference, which is electromagnetic interference. Um, in the uh, built-up areas, in the populated areas, we have power lines and all sorts of electrical appliances that will cause electromagnetic interference. And when you're trying to detect very, very weak signals, those definitely play a role and it's uh, causing just some background and static noise in what's commonly referred to as the noise floor. So we want to be in an environment where the noise floor is almost nothing and not detectable, either, even though that's never the case because we always have atmospheric noise, which is caused by the sun and its electromagnetic radiation <coughs> of its energy that is detectable throughout the radio spectrum, of course. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find a suitable low noise floor area and then we'll hook up the wire and see what we can hear. Well, there's a nice tree right over there and um, it looks like I'll be able to, to get the wire up there, make it long and uh, sufficient length and then I'll set up the radio over here. This is a quiet spot, a little bit out of the snow or just around the, just around the corner here where I can actually get a little bit of shelter. And, uh, and in that tree over there I can put the antenna wire, make it a little bit more vertical which is more favorable for uh, reception of uh, signals from far away. Um, and so a vertical orientation will give me the lowest angle of radiation or lowest angle of reception which means I can receive the furthest distance signals uh, and we'll go into a little bit of uh, how that works with an antenna orientation. So here we go. And that's really not too bad for a short piece of wire, 5,000 miles of receiving that signal. Uh, it's almost uh, halfway around the world, that's not too bad. Alright, enough of this snowy business already. Let's go see how this works in the Caribbean and then in Africa. <laughs> 